Hey everybody, it's Chugacon, right? Welcome back to more Pokemon Crystal. In the last part, we got here to Lavender Town. And to this building right here is where we're supposed to go. It's Pokemon Tower, right? Kanto Radio Station, your favorite program's on air around the clock. They converted a graveyard into a radio station. Are you freaking serious? Uh, humanity. Anyway, you get the expansion card for your radio, which lets you turn into Kanto radio stations. This is a required part of the game. Gah! You can never go into the higher floors of this. Ever since Jota's radio tower was taken over by a criminal gang, we had to step up our security. Well, screw you. Uh, I don't know what's with the two random tiles of carpet right there. Let's see here. Super music director. Well, you know... Crabby music off the air. You know... This always disturbed me. They turned a grave site into a radio station. I mean, it's like in Final Fantasy X, how you have like that sacred town in the first game, and then in Final Fantasy X too, it's a tourist trap. It's like, what the hell? Hey, it's Mr. Fuji, let's see here. So they move all the graves into here. Okay, fine, pay respects to our Pokemon. They have a bunch of chambers here that only Mr. Fuji is allowed to visit from what I know. But now that all that is over, let's go ahead and hop on our sweet ride. And we're needed, need to, going to need to go back to Vermilion City. Now that we are at Lavender Town, we're going to be coming back here later. But for now, it's more important for us to go to Vermilion. Uh, let me just head into the PC really quick to get out my Pokemon. Now that we're done, let's go ahead and hop on our bike. And what we're going to want to do here is remember that giant Snorlax that was guarding the way here? Snoring peacefully. Okay, what we want to do is go into your Poke Gear. And this part's actually kind of annoying in Heart Gold and Soul Silver because you do the tuning with a circle and you have to drag the circle to the top of the screen. A lot of people don't really get what you have to do. Anyway, places in people. Let's all sing! The Poke Flute channel is what we want. And even though we can't just have the start menu up to make him disappear because of the spry layers, Snorlax woke up! And we battle it! Yes, Snorlax! Snorlax is a very good special tank. It is one of the best special tanks in the game, and it's a pretty good physical attacking force too. And it's level 50, so if you want to have a Snorlax, you know, it's a great time to get one. There really isn't much better time. Uh, I'm just going to fight him using Rory here. Uh, I probably should have saved before fighting him, but if it does KO it, I'm not really looking too... I'm not really too miserable just for the sheer fact that I didn't really plan to use it on my team. Uh, this thing also has leftovers on it in addition to the one that we got in Celadon, so that means that there's two leftovers that you can get here uh, already. Let's go ahead and see if we can just weaken it a bit. It's more weak to physical attacks, so I'm attacking it with Iron Tail here, and then I'm probably just going to chip its HP down with Flame Wheel uh, if it gets to be too weak, and whoa, that is a lot! And it recovered leftovers. It restored HP with some leftovers, as the announcer in Stadium 2 would always say. And I remember that being the most annoying thing ever every turn. It restored HP with some leftovers just every single turn. Oh, great. It's got rollout. Yay. That's, that's, that's great. Very great. Uh, let's just flame wheel it. Alright, hopefully this will get it into red. Hopefully it will not use rest either, because that- oh god. That is what makes this fight so annoying, is that it's got rest as far as I know. Okay, good, it's stuck doing rollout. Well, it's not stuck doing rollout, it's just choosing to do it. Well, actually, yeah, I think it is stuck. I don't know. Uh, let's throw Darmani out there. Alright, he's probably gonna do rest, but we have an ace up our sleeve. Yeah, yeah, you're trying to summon out there. Yeah, okay. Uh, we have some heavy balls left over from when we were at Kurt. Wait, do we? Oh crap, we don't. <laughs> I thought we got heavy balls from Kurt. Oh well, I guess we're just gonna start lobbing Ultra Balls at it then. Um, do have some Great Balls, and I think I had a Pokeball in there too, so I guess we have a lot of options here, you know. Alright, see here. One, two, three. That was it! Oh god, a first ball! Are you serious? God! What is it with these boss fights? These are like the dumbest ways that a boss fight can play. Anyway, now that Snorlax is out of the way, we can go to Diglett's Cave, um, which is our next destination. I'm just going to go ahead and heal up Rory really quick before we go. Actually, never mind. I don't need to because there's no trainer battles on the way here. A bunch of Diglett popped out of the ground. That was shocking! Okay, he's apparently scared of a bunch of little fingers. Anyway, 
Uh, Diglett's Cave. Two Pokemon here. Diglett and its evolved form Doug Trio. They are known as the ultimate revenge killers because they're really, really fast, but they're really, really frail, so they're really good for getting in a strong attack. Uh, Max Revive is hidden right there, obviously, as we got. And that's it. That is the end of the dungeon. That was it. Uh, anyway, I guess we can head over here. Um... This is technically supposed to be Viridian Forest. Let's see here. You're the first visitor I've had in a long time. All right, he gives you a nugget. Oh, come on! Item... While I empty out my bag for that nugget, I'll cover the one new Pokemon you can find in this area, which is Pikachu. Pikachu doesn't have very diverse moves. It's mainly just electric attacks with a few others. It's not very diverse. But if you need something that can use electric attacks, it's pretty decent. Has been in every game. Okay, let's talk to him again and get our nugget of wisdom. Thank you. And good night. All right. You have served your purpose in this game. Served your purpose in the le Oh, wow. He said nugget of wisdom. <laughs> well, that was really cool. And we need cut. Now that we are back with something that has cut, I am probably horribly off key. So I guess I will stop singing. Okay. So he's, this guy's just telling us that Professor Oak's lab is in Pallet Town, as if you'd never played the first game before, which again, I feel very sorry for you if you haven't. There's an elixir down here, which is, I guess, good to have. Um, but that's not why we came here. No, we did not come this far for an elixir. That was a very weak no, I'm sorry. No, we did not come this far for the elixir. We came this far because it's time for us to start tackling the gym leaders. Now, I was thinking about this, and I found that there is indeed a way to fight the gym leaders in classic order, and I decided that's what we should do, is fight the gym leaders in classic order. Okay, anyway. Uh, if you walk into tall grass wearing shorts, do you get nicks and cuts? Oh, that's awesome! Go Methane! Methane has just learned Explosion! Okay, so... Now we have the tools to go boom with a lot more oomph. Too bad we couldn't have used it on that guy who was telling us to not litter. Okay, so anyway, yes, I was not fighting Lieutenant Surge as soon as we got here, because I wanted to tackle the gym leaders in classic order. I just thought that would be a lot more interesting and more fun and just cooler for those who are fans of the original game. Okay, yes, yes, yes. What does this guy say? He likes snoozing with the radio on. What is the radio set to? Oh, no wonder they're talking about places and people. Yes, places and people. I always said it like that when I was a kid. I don't know why. I just always thought it was funny because I was just a kid and I thought anything was funny. Um, there's some stuff for us to do in Pewter, though, but um, I think we should head to the gym first. You know, just because it's been a long time since we had a gym battle. Okay, so let's go ahead and head in here. And I'd say it's pretty darn obvious who our star fighter in this thing is going to be. We'll try to give the others some action, though, but for the most part, it's going to be Odairu. Let's go ahead here. Turn as the gym use Rock-type Pokemon. The Rock-type has high defense. Battles can go up over a long time. Are you ready for this? Yeah, they have high defense, but do they have high special defense? And you have one Pokemon, which is a Sand Slash, meaning that the trainer here with the Sand Shrew is still here, and his Sand Shrew has evolved over the past three years. Yeah, it took him three years to get from level 10 to level 37. Yep. Three years to grow 27 levels, an average of nine levels per year. Apparently, he doesn't pick up and play his Game Boy very much. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, we are now up to the gym leader after this fight. So, I think we're going to end it off right here and save the gym battle for next part. All right, though. So, next time on Pokemon Crystal, we are going to be taking on Brock of Pewter City Gym. See you guys there.